on this special edition of Deep in the Heart of Taxes. Apple is $15 billion happier. Ireland says it doesn't do special deals with companies. You'll want to stay tuned. Okay. Happy Tax Day 2020, fellow tax nerds. Welcome to Deep in the Heart of Taxes, the only show that boils down all of the relevant tax law news that's fit to share, and some of it that isn't, all so that you don't have to. I'm your host, Jack Manhire. I'm your co-host, Carrie Fox. And I'm your co-host, Dr. Tyler Kyle. Here are the headlines. Well, certainly the Apple executives awoke on this Tax Day 2020 um, with a smile on their face because the uh, European Union's general court Uh, basically annulled a 2016 European Commission determination that said Apple had to pay $15 billion U.S. uh, in in back taxes. Uh, Annulled it, which means that Apple, as it stands right now, doesn't owe those $15 billion, and that's usually pretty good. Uh, So the, the, the key points here are that the European Commission um said back in 2016 that Ireland enabled Apple to be able to pay, quote, substantially less tax than other businesses over many years, end quote. And what do they mean by this? Well, in 2003, uh, the European Commission noted that the effective tax rate for Apple on its European profits uh, was 1% pretty low to any for anybody listening but um by 2014 11 years later the effective tax rate on european profits for apple was only 0.005 percent a precipitous decline and the commission used this back in 2016 um to say foul okay the, the commission is the executive arm of the eu and it said whoa Because of this precipitous drop, we believe, Ireland, that you're in cahoots with Apple and that you gave it special privileges, uh, a tax advantage, if you will, um, and enabled Apple to, quote unquote, aggressively plan its taxes uh, that would give a benefit to Ireland. Uh, And so uh, as a way of saying, here's a line in the sand, you know, people who want to come over and aggressively tax plan in, in the EU, you shall go no further. And, you know, a, a 13 billion euro or about $15 billion uh, bill on this uh, got a lot of headlines, raised a lot of eyebrows back in 2016. <clears throat> well, what does it mean for today, Jack? Well, it, it means that, you know, those eyebrows are now being raised in a different way. We were wondering uh, back in 2016 what this was going to mean. Was the EC going to get more aggressive itself in trying to uh, trying to uh, either bash down the aggressive tax planning or going after other companies and trying to get you know, billions of dollars uh, in, uh, unre- in unpaid, quote unquote, unpaid taxes? Um, or was this a one-time deal? Well, now we're wondering, you know, that, that line in the sand that they drew is not as clear. It's not as bright. It's a little bit fuzzier. And we're not sure that the EC has as strong of a leg to, to stand on. Uh, and, um, you know, why is this relevant for today especially? Well, <clears throat> the, um, the affliction that we're going through the affliction meaning the, the sickness that everybody's going through. That's right. The, the, the affliction. Well, why don't you just say what it is? Well, because you know, I can't say it, Carrie, because our, our lovely hosts, our platform hosts that this uh, podcast is on, um, would prefer that I don't. So I'm going to speak in, in slight code and say the affliction, but everybody should know what I mean. That affliction has really put taxation front and center. Because governments, you know that the U.S. has done this, but this is governments worldwide. They've spent a lot of money, a ton of money related to this affliction. Uh, 
a lot of it's been in healthcare, but a lot of it's also been in uh, economic recovery, as they say. There might be economic stimulus in the future, stimuli in the in the future. But there's there has been and there's going to be a lot of money spent. That bill is is going to come due. That ha- that money has to be recovered at least in part. And countries are going to look to their traditional ways of raising money, which is, of course, uh, taxation. And the EU countries are no different. One way of doing that is to go after companies like Apple and say, uh, we want your billions of dollars that uh, we think that you saved by doing business in the EU. We want that money now. Thank you very much. Uh, That was a stronger position up until this morning. Now, of course the parties have two months to, to appeal it. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. And I'm really interested listeners right now. If you think the party should appeal, put appeal in the comments. If you think that they should not appeal, put not appeal in the comments. I'm really interested in that. Um, so the, after the appeal, we'll see if this is still a viable strategy for, for the EC, Um, But if it's not, they're going to have to look into new types of taxes. And they've been thinking about this. One of the things on the table is this digital tax. The digital tax is essentially just a levy on big tech. Um, It's not a special, quote unquote, special arrangement with uh, between countries and and companies, but it's just a, a levy across the board on big tech. And the policy, the stated policy reason is, quote, to ensure a f- that companies pay a fairer share compared to traditional companies, which means not giant behemoth companies. Um, countries like Spain like this a lot, and they are banging on the on the fairness um, on the fairness button to say uh, we want you to contribute more taxes. Big companies, especially big tech companies. Um, there's more opposition in countries like the United States that argue this type of, of levy is discriminatory toward domestic firms. Uh, so we sh- we shall see, we shall see, but I'm really again interested in your, in your thoughts. What do you think? What do you think? Please put your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep the discussion going. Of course, I should also point out that um, the Irish finance minister, Pascal Donahoe has uh, stated emphatically that Ireland does not make special tax deals with any particular company. I'm not calling um, that statement uh, into question. I'm not calling the veracity of that statement into question. Although I think we all believe uh, can agree. And most of us believe that that is certainly a, um, an expected expected statement uh, by Ireland. But again, let me know what you, what you think in the comments below. Okay, that's the show for today. Again, it was a special edition on the uh, Apple case, the uh, the EU court's decision in Apple in Ireland uh, against the European Commission. <clears throat> if you liked it, please hit the like button, the thumbs up icon. Sharing it really, really helps us. Sharing it on Facebook. Yeah, you always say Facebook gives us the widest audience. Well, it does give us the widest audience, Carrie. So, you know, Facebook's great, but any platform is fine. Any platform is fine. Uh, Sharing it is helpful. Comments are helpful, too, for the show. Um, Of course, subscribing also helps because subscribing gives you the benefit of being notified when uh, when new shows are going to, to come up so that you know when we're going to drop new podcasts. It also lets you know when we're going to do premiere shows. Okay, So I know that the folks I'm waving to you now in the studio cam, um, folks that are uh, uh, premium members uh, are given access to the studio cam so you can you can see us in the studio making this. Um, and non-premium members get the audio version only. But if you subscribe and you hit the bell icon, you're going to know when those things come up. Okay? And so, um, again, that's the show. I really appreciate everybody listening. Thank you for t- uh, tuning in, so to speak, to Deep in the Heart of Taxes. I'm Jack Manhire. I'm Carrie Fox. And I'm Dr. Ky- Tyler Kyle. We're all wishing you many happy returns. <laughs>